Hi friends, uh, here Ravi Dunsi. I welcome you all to my channel Ravi Tax Studio. So if you are an aerospace engineer or aeronautical engineer, uh, just you pass out the degree in the year of 2023, 2022, uh, or even 2020, and you are looking for a good government job, then this video is for you. Today I brought uh, a special vacancy uh, by a Union Public Service Commission. Uh, for the Direct General of Civil Aviation. So it is a golden opportunity for all fresher candidates as well as uh, candidates who are having uh, experience uh, uh, to work with the AGCA. This is the Group A Cursed Post. So in this video, I'm going to cover the detailed uh, uh, you know, instructions regarding online applications as well as what are the qualification criteria, how selection will be, uh, you know, uh, completed and where will be posted. So please watch the video up to the end and those uh, who are coming uh, first time on my channel, please do subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to press the bell icon because I will to share videos on career counseling, videos on engineering subjects as well as uh, uh, videos on government jobs in search opportunities available in the whole sector as well as science. So let's friends start this uh, attachment uh, uh, detail uh, i will provide you the link for uh, this attachment or you can directly visit www.upscaonline.nic.in here find the information regarding this so if i open this uh, pdf it will be looking like that i am talking about the first vacancy which has been notified vacancy number 2307401622 26 vacancy for the post of aeronautical officer in director general of civil aviation ministry of civil aviation total vacancies are 26 which are further divided as per the category for scheduled task four vacancies are reserved for civil drive one ovc six and economic vehicle section three post are reserved and for general category one post are reserved out of these 26 uh, vacancies uh, three vacancies are reserved for person with very small disability so it is clearly mentioned uh, those who are having some disability, maybe blindness, low vision, left arm affected, left leg affected, yeah, uh, multiple disabilities, right. So out of these three vacancies, out of 26 vacancies, three vacancies are reserved for this and if they are coming under these categories which are mentioned, highlighted with the, uh, you know, uh, black line here like multiple disability, low vision, hard hearing. Uh, one arm, one leg affected, yeah, one arm affected, leprosy cure, or the office acid attack. Uh, if these kind of categories are there, if you are there, three vacancies are reserved for that. If we look for the pay scale level, pay scale level is 10 as per the seventh pay commission, as maximum is limited given as 35 years, and above that, age relaxation will also be given for OBC and SC and ST candidate as well for. Uh, people who are working in the government sector like uh, defense forces for that also uh, age relaxation will be also be given what is the essential qualification you must have degree in aeronautical electrical electronics or mechanical or metallurgical engineering from the college university this is essential qualification this is a full-time degree right we are requiring for regular degree when we talk about the experience, you must have two years experience in aircraft design and development including aircraft electrical, electronics or mechanical systems as well as air worthiness in units. Out of this, any one category you must have two years uh, valid experience. It will be a non-teaching experience, right? If you are working somewhere as a lecturer, other experience will not be considered. Desirable, uh, what is desirable? One year experience in aeronautical research and development or design of laboratory investigation of field aircraft parts or flight records involved in accident or incident or airworthiness syndrome. So, if it is that, it would be added advantage. But there are two notes that are also given the qualifications are flexible at the discretion of the Union Public Service Commission for reasons to be recorded in writing. In the case, the candidate otherwise well qualified or qualification regarding the experience are relaxable at the discretion of the union public service commission for reasons of recorded writing in the case of candidate belonging to the civil cast or the scheduled drive if at any stage of this election the union public service commission is of an option that sufficient number of candidates from these communities processing the eco side experience are not likely to be available to fill up the vacancy reserved for them then uh, uh, 
some relaxation may also be given. What are your duties if you are selecting in that? You have to assist in examining the documents pertaining to the type of certification, particularly for aeronautical products issued by the, the countries, issued by the Federal Aviation Administration or European, uh, you know, uh, Aerodynamics uh, Safety Agency, and the level of audit and regulatory audit, right, is an organization. You have to provide assistance in analysis data derived from MDRS and CVRS in testing of aeronautical materials in laboratories. Uh, you have to assist in analyzing of the failed components of the airplane helicopter involving the accidents, right, or incident. You have to assist in testing of aviation turbine fuels, uh, samples, oil samples, or you have to help in commissioning of new tanks on any other job assigned by senior officers. So these are the uh, you know overview of the uh, task that you are going to do if you are going to select an aeronautical uh, officer in the BGC. And your place of posting is uh, Director General of Civil Aviation, uh, Project Inspector in the airport. Mostly this is the airport, uh, Arvindo Mark, New Delhi, with all India service liability. You can be posted anywhere. So initial posting will be given in Delhi or regional office of DJG at Delhi, Lucknow, Kanpur, Hyderabad, or Bangalore. Right? Uh, other conditions like if you are a newly recruited officer, you will undergo training, right? Induction training uh, to make you familiarize with the you know uh, understanding of the organization, its vision, mission, and acquire necessary competency uh, required for performing this job. And after completion of this initial induction training, right, uh, the new officers will be provided job training to enable them to carry out their tasks independently. So basically, you will be undergoing training for initially two years, right, immediately after joining the job. And after that, you will be working like a group A guy student officer. So in this video, I am covering only uh, this one vacancy out of uh, uh, the CPSC address number 14 to 2023. And these vacancies are for an article officer. Now, if we come for uh, how to apply, right, online applications are invited and you can directly go to the www.upscononline.nic.in just click over this link you will find a uh, tab for applying for an article official just you register there if you are new you have to register and then you have to enter into the application form you have to fill out the application form fill out all the education uh, you know qualification experience uh, details and you have to upload the pdf copy of the same over there photo and signature finally you have to submit a key for uh, this application which is merely a 25 rupees uh, so this has been already started with 27 22nd july onwards right last date is 11th august today i am making video on 30th of july so you can apply up to 11th of august uh, night uh, 11 to uh, 9 hours so date of determining the candidate in every respect will be the last date of application right uh, on that day your age should be exactly 35 years and you must have process a required degree, essential degree. Right, this is what uh, uh, is given. And if you are belonging to the category like OVC, SCST, we have to uh, provide the recent, uh, you know, uh, certificate regarding that. So make it a recent, uh, latest, uh, uh, you know, certificate within six months. If you are applying under the category of person with benchmark disability, you must have a competent, uh, uh, you know, certificate from the relevant agency. And if you are having disability of 40% or more, then only you can claim uh, the, uh, you know, uh, this post, uh, that these are three vacancies which are reserved for you. Headquarter for any kind of, you know, uh, things, you have to contact with the headquarter, which is Grand Valley. So, provision, we talk about provision, provision period will be uh, depending on your uh, type of job. Like, for an article of which clearly mentioned, initially you will be undergoing an election driving for two years. So in that time, two years you will be on provision period. So this is regarding, and these are the common general instructions. You must be an Indian, Indian citizen, right? You may be a resident of Nepal, Bhutan, Tibetan, right? Or, or refugees, you can from Pakistan, Burma, Sri Lanka, East African country like Kenya, Uganda, uh, United Republic of Tanzania, Burma, Tanga, Eka, and Zanzibar, Zambia, Malawi, Jailare, right? Those who have come from there, migrated, they came to the India and the intention of living in India, they can also apply. Right, age limit already clearly mentioned, and over that, some major elections will be given as per the government norms. Minimum essential qualification, every must have that minimum essential qualification that is the required condition, and uh, 
experience for some post right especially for this experience is also must we don't have that required years of experience that then don't, don't apply for this the scale element sum so that is what uh, regarding this application fees is merely 25 rupees right uh, that you have to pay online so you can pay by internet banking or by a card right master card rupee credit card debit card upi payment and especially female candidate, SCST person with maximum disability, these category candidates you need to pay as this fee, or even people have to pay the fees. And there will be no fee for women candidates as well as field exemption uh, regarding this. Uh, there is no uh, exemption of fee uh, to general category, OBC and economic bigger, bigger section candidates. So you have to particularly again uh, the fees, women candidates are exempted. From other countries and and fees once you paid will not be refunded right so clearly please first before uh, processing for fee payment clearly you see all the things that you are paying whether it's a perfect correct after that you can proceed for fee uh, you know uh, payment concession of age relaxation age relaxation will be given to excel recruitment commission officer like ECU or SSU as per the uh, rules and for OBC, general category in OBC and SCST, as per the government norms, uh, they will be providing the age relaxation. So, this is regarding the age relaxation, correspondence certificate you are doing. How to apply? Candidate have to go uh, on the uh, website www.tpscaonline.nic.in and to this, uh, they have to apply. Right, you have to upload all the documents, right, like regarding essential qualification, date of birth, experience certificate, and every file that you are making should not be exceeding one entry size. Right, you have to convert that into PDF copy. You must you have to upload your photo and signature also. If every image should have 200 dpi grace care. Right. So these are the regarding thing. And if you are community certificate, right, SCST OBC, this certificate also need to be uploaded in PDF form. Personal events what disability, you have to upload a certificate, right, from competent authority in the PDF form, right. So these are required for scrutinizing your application. After scrutinizing, your number of candidates are more. Then UPSC may conduct the written examination. If your number of candidates are less, then directly there will be an interview. So it will be a direct interview based, uh, you know, selection or maybe written test followed by the interview. Like that, uh, things will be happening. And make sure that the email ID that you are mentioning the online application form it should be your your own because all the communication will be happening through email. So. Uh, please keep in mind that email should be yours and regularly you have to check your email and also regularly you have to visit the UPSC website all right particularly for uh, all the update even though on my channel also you can get the update regarding the job right interview schedule and requirement with the regard of copies of certificate to be submitted in respect of claims made in the online application form will be emailed in due course to the candidate their registered email id once they have uh, uh, you know uh, time will come at the time email will be coming regarding the uh, certificate that you have to bring right at the time of interview so this is regarding uh, the job uh, no other uh, you know further uh, exceptions are there it is clearly given here candidate will be shortlisted for interview only on the basis of the information that you are providing in the online details form and the document that you are submitting so please keep in mind essential qualification and experience which are must you must have that in your uh, uh, that you uh, already required, you have to submit the required document. Based on that, your shortlisting will be happening. It will be called for interview, right? Commission, uh, this is the document certificate to be produced at the time of interview, right? At the time of interview, when you will be calling uh, interview, right? You have to take the printout of the online application form along with the all original documents that you have submitted at the time of uh, uh, you know applications. That all things you have to carry along with you and uh, when you are going for interview right and no TADA will be given right when you are attending the interview is clearly mentioned here that's all uh, regarding this post if you are having any doubt in this uh, if you are feeling any difficulty right in applying then contact numbers are also given you can contact over here right for any kind of clarification regarding applications you can contact on these numbers clearly here numbers given you can contact on between uh, 10 a.m. to uh, 5 p.m. And even you can write in the comment section if you are getting any difficulty in applying for this post, I will be happy to help you out. So friends, that's all for today. If you are having uh, any query, right, feel free to write in the comment section. 
those brand new first time visited my channel please do subscribe to my channel don't forget to press the bell icon see you all in the next video with a new topic till then have a nice day good day